more porn. Uh, I got a fast connection so I don't have to wait. For porn. What? There's always some new sight. For porn. I browse all day and night. For porn. It's like I'm surfing at the speed of light. For porn. Tricky. The internet is for porn. Tricky. The internet is for porn. What are you doing? Why you think the net was born? That was a scene out of Avenue Q, the hit Broadway musical. Our next guest transformed a childhood passion into a big business, Rick Lyon, owner and creator of Lyon Puppets and designer of the puppets for the Tony Award-winning musical Avenue Q. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Thank you. Nice hey. to meet you guys. How are you today? Thanks. Thanks for having me here. So, Rick, who do you have with you? Uh, my name is Nikki. I'm from Avenue Q. Uh, they never show a clip of me. Oh, what, what's up with that? They like show Trekkie like, Monster all the time. That's not just Trekkie Monster, you guys. Uh, he, well, you know, he's like the bad boy, and everybody likes the bad boy. You remember Sean Penn early in his career? Wait, well, it's the <laughs> bad, bad boy. Guy. That was a good you movie, know, by everybody, the way. Everybody wants to, to see the guy who's naughty. So. Well, we, well, you oh, know well. what? You're the star of the show here. Well, thank you. you absolutely. Mm -hmm. and apparently, you're just a good guy. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I'm a very good guy. You, uh, you saw the show, right? Uh, how's your boss, yeah. by the way? He also a good guy? Oh, everybody's a good guy, you know, on Avenue Q. That's sort of what, you know, it's, it's, that's why people like Avenue yeah, Q. Yeah, tell us about Avenue Q. Because it's nicer than real life. Tell us about it, Avenue well, Q. Well, Avenue Q is about this guy called Princeton who was looking to make his way in the big city. You know, it's actually kind of a coming-of-age story <laughs> and the traditional sort of West Side story vein, only uh, Princeton doesn't die in this one. So <laughs> it's a little more upbeat than West Side Story is. It's but, also yeah. very edgy and racy for a puppet show, I assume. Oh, uh, well, is that correct? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I why mean, that's why we're talking about the bad guy over there. Now, Nikki, mm -hmm. do you Monster. mind if we talk to Rick for a little while? You, we, we, well, you, that won't offend you too much, would well, it? Well, he's a lot less interesting than I am. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna bring you back for the mix, or right. maybe like let, let okay. interview people right. even. I'm gonna, all right. I'm gonna put this guy down then. <laughs> Rick, so. this is so fantastic. It, it, I mean, how did you get into puppets, and now you're so successful. I mean, you. D you designed all the puppets for uh, Avenue Q mm -hmm. here on Sesame Street, the Ninja Turtle movies, Men in Black. How'd you get yeah. started in this? Well, um, I, I've always been attracted to puppetry ever since I was a little kid. You know, it's, Wait, it's like... Voices it almost know. took you a minute to, to change to your uh, regular voice. It was like four words in before well, you got back to the Well, you know, uh, the most successful puppet voices are the ones that's actually sort of closest to you, that, that are just a little twist on, on yourself. Makes sense. Um, like, like Nikki is go just on, me a little bit higher, it's sort of up here. It's, uh, it's, but, uh, can but, I hold Nikki uh, while you talk? Oh, sure. Sure, if you like. So tell us about how you got started. Um, We'd love to hear your story. I was story. always attracted to puppets, as, even as a kid. There was something about it that just attracted me to it. And I mean, we're talking, uh, you know, Kukla Fran and Ali, Bert Tilstrom, uh, early TV, um, and Jim Henson's early work on, you know, before he did Sesame Street and all that stuff, he did a lot of the old variety shows, like mm -hmm. the Hollywood Palace, the Ed Sullivan show. And I was seeing those as kids and going, wow, this stuff is so weird and trippy. And I don't know why. <laughs> you know, it's sort of like asking people, why do you like your favorite music? I don't know. It, just, there was something you know, about it that love. attracted me right. and brought out my creativity. And is puppet business a growing business? <laughs> well, I can I'd be. like to know. It, it can that's be. That's my best voice. How about it? it <laughs> no, that's can good. Be. That's good. One of the interesting things about Avenue Q is and I, one of the things that I'm very proud of is that it's, it's sort of giving puppetry back to an adult audience. One right. of the things one of the things that Jim Henson was always sort of frustrated by was his success in Sesame Street absolutely pigeonholed him as being Muppets are for kids. Mm, and good point. and Very Avenue good Q point. takes that nostalgia that we have for that kind of style of puppet and you know the memories we have of puppets being, you know, kid friendly things and puts it in an adult context. And and I think Jim would have loved this show because oh, that's so you know great. you know Jim's early shows were not for kids. He did weird, bizarre uh, adult stuff. His his original show, which was a ten minute thing called Salmon Friends in the Washington D.C. area, was a lead into the Tonight Show. Right. Oh. There weren't kids and watching no, the Tonight exactly. Show. It's, so, it was for adults. Rick and you. Wait a minute. What is that? Well, I thought I'd give you, I thought I thought I'd give you guys a little puppet lesson. So we have a couple of uh, a couple of doppelgangers for you here. Here's Cody. Meet oh, Cody Puppet. Oh my this goodness. is really exciting. I, Thank you for dressing the part today. Oh my I'm afraid God. I didn't have anything to match your outfit. Go go. Oh, this is so cool. This is so this. cool. 
Okay, so show us how to do this. Oh, okay. you just put your hand up here. Yeah, in put the your mouth. hand up your butt. And, uh, <laughs> put the hand up my butt, okay? Okay, your four fingers should be on top. Oh, wow, and thumb, look, that totally looks like, really like and, your, to know. and your thumb underneath. Come and to the double shot, guys. Every time, every time what you I open really, your mouth, yeah. open your hand. What I'd really like to know is how did I end up in a double arranged <laughs> marriage with Go Go? Come on now, here. Now you see what now you see what you were doing? Yeah. That's, uh, a lot of people do that. You were closing your hand every oh, time you open oh, your mouth. A lot of people God, do that's that. That's tricky. It's the other way around. Open your hand when you open your mouth. These are expensive and they take you a long time they to make. They do. They take 100 to 120 man hours a piece to make. Wow. And that's and that's just the physical making of them. That doesn't include the design. Rick, and thank I you so much. Oh, darn, we're, we're out of time. This Rick, fascinating thank you so stuff. Much. Well, actually, so we're going to show more of it in our next segment. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, be right, right back. back with the mixer. <laughs> I mean it.